What is going on guys, it is Palms here and I have another tutorial for you but today it's an editing tutorial on uh, Smooth Twixter and After Effects. Uh, so what you're going to do is to open up your After Effects and I'm using CS5.5 but you can, I think you can use any from CS4 to CS5.5 uh, and this tutorial should work just up or just work fine for you. So my frame rate, just go to your composition settings, open up a new composition, 1280 by 720 frame rate 59.94 that is very important and doesn't matter what your duration is just make sure it's over like two minutes long and you want to import a clip and what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go to one of my uh, clips for COTC that I just edited for um, for buy so, and uh, the important thing is to make sure your clip is 59.94 FPS as well, not just the composition. So then just you want to drag that down here into your uh, comp. And then what I'm going to just do right away is I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to just make this a little bit bigger. Alright, so I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit. Alright, and then I'm just going to zoom this back into 50, not 50, I'm going to go 33. Um, isn't working out very well. We're still 33. Hope you guys can see that enough. Alright, so what you want to do is first right click on the clip and go to time and enable time remapping and just drag it uh, I don't know, like more than double the amount of the clip uh, just so that the twixter can be applied without causing the clip to end and now you're going to want to go to your effects and presets you want to search for twixter and drag twixter pro onto the clip and so now here's the important part is the settings so for the input frame rate you're going to go to 59.94 and just hit enter and for image prep you want to change the contrast edge enhance and for uh, frame interp do motion weighted blend come down to the main bg layer settings and type in 60 and go to fg1 and type in 60 and then change the mat to from red to alpha and <coughs> and sorry about that I'm battling a cold so uh, now you're going to want to go to the point at which uh, let me drag this down to a quarter the length here What is going on? Where is... Oh, there we go. Alright, so you're going to kind of go to where you want the Twixter to start. And so, I normally start it right when... Just right about when there's as little motion as possible so like I think right here is good alright so now you're going to go to speed um, you can just I normally open up this just in case the output control so you want to go to speed you want to hit the keyframe you want to go to frame in front of, and you're going to want to hit the little uh, diagonal or triangle. No, not triangle, diamond. There we go. And then you want to just type in 2 instead of 100%. And so now, as you go along, it's really, really, really smooth twixter. There's no ghosting, or little ghosting, very little ghosting. And then, so you, then you want to just go to where you want to stop the twixter 
hit the little diamond, and then do a frame in front of again, the next frame, and then just type in 100 again. So now the clip will be normal speed. And then there you go. And so that's about it. Then you can zoom right back out, uh, minimize that, minimize that. And then render that out. And right about there. So that is where I got my smooth twixter. That is how I got my smooth, or smooth twixter. So there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that tutorial. I hope it helped. And we will see you guys later. Peace.